Summary of the seven skills your parents didn't teach you and your kids need to learn. This is the lesson 2.5 uh, of the website practice cycle. As always, the sources of uh, the article I'm reading right now is down below so that we can read it together. Skipping the first paragraphs. Please be aware that in order to fully f understand the lesson, you have to listen to all previous lessons or read them on the website, okay? Perspective. Communication occurs when the perceived behavior of one person causes a mental, spiritual, emotional, and or physical reaction in another person. It's instinctual behavior that living things learn to use reduce current discomforts, feel current needs. With other living things, people who want to learn how to think, communicate, and problem solve effectively are more su successful at Consistently filling their and other people's current needs well enough and building satisfying, hard nurturance relationships and groups like marriage and fam families and at raising self-confident, independent, holistic, healthy children. Despite these major benefits, few people in our culture study communication basics or teach them to their kids. Reality check. How many people that you know could answer most of the questions on this quick quiz you took? Could the adults who raised you answer them? Reflect on a scale from 1, ineffective, to 10, consistently effective. How good are you at communicating in calm and, uh, and blank conflictual situations? Psychological wounds from early childhood trauma make effective communication difficult regardless of your knowledge. Lesson 1. In this website, it's about de detecting and reducing these wounds, so work patiently at lessons 1 and 2 together. Premise. Effective versus good or open and honest communication happens when each person involved feels they got their current primary needs met well enough in a way that feels good enough to them. For example, respectfully, honestly and directly. Any self-motivated adult guided by their true self can learn. Communication basics. Fluency in several effective communication relationship skills. How and when to use the skills with adults, kids, and with their personality sub-selves, and anyone can. Model and teach these basics and skills to young kids. Can you name the seven skills out loud? If not, which in common? You are probably not using them or teaching them to any kids in your life. If you don't, who will? Here's an overview. Seven essential communication skills. Each of these learnable skills builds on prior ones. So the other counts. Key, inner environmental and communication process awareness. Clear versus fuzzy, unfocused thinking. Digging down below surface needs to discern the current primary needs. Empathetic listening. Hearing with your heart. Meta talk, talking corporately about your communication process. Effective assertion and win-win problem solving. How, how many average adults do you, do you think could have and describe each of these skills? How many schools do you think are teaching them? Skill 1. Awareness. This foundation skill is learning to become conscious of what's happening A. Now and B. Over time. Inside me. Self-awareness. Inside you. Empathy. Between us. Pro process awareness. And around us. Environmental awareness. Professional communicators and counselors seek answers of over 40 factors in these four zones. Other adults and kids can benefit significantly by learning to notice under 10 factors in important social situations. Unlike other cultures living closer to nature, our hyperactive, overstimulating society discourage appreciating and practice this awareness. I wonder why. Use awareness A in any important social situation and B with your team of sub-selves internal awareness. When you are significantly stressed, awareness is required of all six other skills. Skill 2. Clear versus fuzzy thinking. The essential talent combines three factors in important situations. Focus on the current versus past or future. Primary needs until all communication parties feel they got their needs met well enough. And intentionally build and use a vocabulary to describe your perceptions, feelings and needs. And intentionally avoid vague and ambivalent terms like this, that, it, they, them, those, people, stuff, this whole thing. Deal with, cope with, work through, get past it. Take care of, handle everyone, sort of, pretty soon, sometime, trouble, this problem, this issue, always, never, etc. And avoid 
hand grenade, emotionally provocative terms like rape, stupid, weak, abuse, insensitive, dumb, childish, crybaby, immature, wimp, fag, nigger, kike, fairy, bully, selfish, fault, liar, control freak, homo, loser, winner, failure, asshole, bitch, bastard, pathetic, brainless, etc. Clear thinking requires wanting to be aware of of your and other people's thinking in important situations and over time. Use awareness and this skill in A, significant internal conflicts and stresses and B, all significant relationships and social situations. Skill 3. Dig down. Below current surface needs to identify each partner primary needs. Use this skill with awareness in significant internal and interpersonal conflicts and crises. Mastery of this essential relationship skill depends on living from your true self, study for zone awareness and knowledge of core, core personal relationship, spiritual and communication needs. Awareness and the results of digging down are input to meta talk, a surgeon and problem solving skills. Skill 4. Empathetic listening. As Dr. Stefan Covey says, learn to listen with your heart versus with your head. Empathy is sensing accurately and objectively what other people is feeling, thinking and needing them. Without losing your self-awareness and boundaries, communication effectively soars when each person wants to listen empathetically. Knowing what this does not necessarily mean, they agree with their partners. This vital skill has also been called reflective, reflexive and active listening and mirroring, since the listening intentionally reflects back brief, non-judgmental impressions of what the speaker is saying and feeling. From time to time, do you, do you do this with important people? Popular alternatives to empathetic listening include lecturing, interrupting, monologuing, moralizing, advising, preaching, threatening, blaming, ignoring, tuning out, redrawing, explaining, interrogating, and charging, changing the subject. See any favorites? These always hinder effective communication. Intentionally grow the habit of using answers with a, and empathetic listening, hearing checks, and in all social and sub-self interaction. Recall, we are reviewing several, seven essential effective communication skills anyone can learn and benefit from. Skill 5. Assertion. Is identifying and calmly stating what you perceive, believe, and or need from another person in a way can hear you clearly. Alternatives to assertion are submission, sacrificing your needs, values, and perception, in perhaps integrity, to please and placate another person. And aggression, forcing your needs on another person, regardless of their current needs. Three kinds of assertion are preventive, avoiding, avoid a problem, confronting, confrontive, where there is a problem, and dodge down praise. Effective assertion requires your true self to lead your other sub-selves personally and present moment clarity on your personal rights and primary needs, and the genuine versus dutiful mutual respect attitude and the stable two-person awareness bubble and influency in at least of four skills above. Do you have these priceless treasures yet? Did your childhood get grievous? Do the young people in your life? Skill 6. Meta talk. Meta thinking is thinking about thinking. Meta dancing is dancing about, dan is dancing, about dancing. Meta writing is writing about writing. Meta talking is talking corporately about what you are communicating your process. Versus what are you talking about your content. Growing this skill involves using awareness and evolving a vocabulary of communication process terms to identify and resolve significant communication blocks. Examples of meta terms, floating, interrupting, interjecting, eye contact, assuming, double messages, defocusing, feedback, venting, destructive, bipolar, black, white, thinking, eye messages, respect messages, emotion levels, communication needs, primary needs, second order change, fuzzy thinking, assuming, mind reading, Mind racing, can you define each of these terms yet? Requisites of, of effective meta talk include you are your true self leading your other sub selves, knowledge of communication basics, a genuine mutual respect attitude, and a stable two person awareness bubble, and awareness, clear thinking, and empathetic listening skills. Use an awareness and meta talk when you need to identify and resolve a significant internal social communication problem. Exchanging respectful meta comments helps to define communication problems so you can solve them. Review these phrases to get a sense of meta talk in action and use the related worksheet to help design effective meta comments. 
Skill 7. Win-win problem solving. Conflict resolution. All people have fluctuating needs, for example, emotional, physical and spiritual discomforts. So being needy is normal and healthy, not weak and bad. Problems are unfulfilled needs. Problem solving means feeling current needs well enough. This powerful skill uses all six other skills to identify each person's current primary needs and communication needs. And creatively brainstorm acceptable need feeling compromi compri compromises as mutually respectful and teammates versus adversaries. Common alternatives to win win problem solving are fighting, arguing, withdrawing, manipulating, postponing, defocusing, blaming, giving up, or in getting sick, threatening, explaining, defending, avoiding, whining, numbing, spacing out, changing the subject, and or playing a hot potato. You feel my needs. No, you feel you feel mine. Pause, breathe, and reflect. Have you ever seen these seven powerful communication relationship skills in one place before? Or do you know anyone who uses all seven skills consistently, effectively? Can you imagine what would change in our society if all kids are taught to use these skills? Status check. C. You feel about what you just read. T for true, F for false, and question mark. I'm not sure, or it depends on. A. I am very clear on what myself, capital S, guides and my other sub-self. And B. She or is leading them right now. True or false? I can clearly describe two factors required for communication effectiveness. True or false? I, uh, I, agree, agree. I agree that communicating effectively is essential for getting my personal and social needs met every day. 4. I now communicate effectively enough A. In a calm and B. Conflictual situations with the people who mean the most to me. 5. I can now clearly describe A. Each of the seven communication skills in the summary and B. When your best use each of them to an average teenager or I am strongly motivated to learn and use these skills now. B. 6. I can clearly describe A. What lesson 2 in this website is and B. It's why, why it's all vital in all families and organizations and see I'm committed or to working on this lesson patiently and at least several times per week now. 7. I, I, A, understand and B, agree that thinking is really communication among my talented team and of personality sub-selves. So C, I agree that these 7 skills are useful within me as well as with other people. 8. I am motivated to a model and teach the young people in my life about these seven skills now and to b coach them and, and affirm the kids as they learn to use them to use the skills in their own way. If you can't spontaneously describe these seven communication skills to another person, you are probably not using them. That means you are probably used to fill your daily primary needs far less often than you could. It also means that you are not modeling and teaching effective thinking and communicating to your kids in your life. Recap. This series of Lesson 2 articles exist because few average adults seem to know what they need to know to communicate effectively. This article summarizes seven, seven essential communication relationship skills that any motivated adult, adult or older child can learn to use to fill their needs more effectively. The unique guide by, guidebook Satisfactions integrates all the online to, online lesson to web article and worksheets here. Note that requisites for effective thinking and communicating is progress reducing any significant psychological wounds from a traumatic childhood. Lesson one here offers a practical way to do that. Learn something about yourself with this anonymous one poll question. Pause, breathe and reflect. Why did you read this? Did you get what you needed? If not, what do you need? Who's answering these questions? Your true self or someone else? So, thank you very much for listening to me. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell button. Share the video on social medias. For donations and consultations, the email is down below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.